So since it's been over four months since my last uh, video on the matter, and since they had actually sent somebody out to repair it, um, and also since that person took you know pictures and made notes and was supposed to report back to the the company to get them to you know follow up, and since nobody has, I figured I'd follow up myself with a, uh, a post repair video of our sofa. So as you can see, nothing was done about the frumpiness of the chaise. The movement in the back here was fixed. Apparently there was a loose, uh, loose bolt. Took care of that. The stitching is still a, I don't know, disaster. Nothing's been uh, done about this. They uh, haven't said what they're going to do about this. I'm going to assume nothing. Um, just take the cushions off to show you the, the work that was done inside. As you can see, the um, bar still makes contact here with the uh, the front. This is after the person spent quite a bit of time in there adjusting the, the mechanism. Still a gap here, still a gap on that side, and this still contacts the, uh, the frame. However, I will give them credit for this much, the sickening thud is gone upon opening this thing up. Uh, so that is good. They also replaced the uh, the hinges for the chaise, so now, you know, a year and a half after you got this damn thing, we can actually put stuff in here, but as you can see, we haven't put anything in there because we've sort of forgotten about this feature of the sofa because we haven't been able to use it for a year and a half. But at least the lift works. Um, <clears throat> when the tech was here fixing things, I uh, was inspired by the fact that he squeezed in back here and I thought I'd go back in here as well to give you guys a little illustration of how Natutsi did you know what's pronounced Natutsi? I had no idea um, just like the rule I kind of assumed it was Natuzi which I was willing to pronounce and not feel weird about uh, here we are inside the sofa this is uh, below where that frame piece contacts as you can see the screw here has a bunch of washers and it's all kind of loose and I would assume it's been like that for a while but uh, moving on if you were in the showroom I'm sure you heard the same pitch about the quality craftsmanship and materials that goes into these and that's why you know this is a three thousand dollar sofa not a eleven hundred dollar sofa I was told that oh yeah no it's it's a uh, very well made hardwood uh, framing and all that crap I don't know much about woods but I'm fairly certain this is pine and certainly not hardwood at all for that matter kind of a crappy piece of pine at that um, <clears throat> you can see the uh, the foam just kind of wraps around the edge and the leather which I can't show you just has a couple of staples running along the bottom I suppose that's kind of standard for sofa manufacturing however and this was why thought was kind of fun. This bracket here, um, 90 degree hole, screws are kind of screwed in on an angle uh, to grab whatever they, they can I guess. Um, which isn't too much of a sin, I, I don't understand why they wouldn't just screw it in straight and keep things all lined up, but <clears throat> the rest of the sofa is made of um, an ass load of particle board, not hardwood. Um, little pieces of softwood glued into place and staples, a whole lot of staples. This uh, backing piece where, uh, where the sofa back is has a supporting frame here and I assume the staples are all nailed into this from from behind but as you can see is as they went along they started missing the board so here's some exposed staples, a whole run of exposed staples going, what is that, about two feet or so of exposed staple so, as you can see here, it's all nice and secure. And as you can see here, I can put fingers. Well, I can't put fingers, but I can certainly make a, a gap here, which I uh, am not able to do over there. Following on with the illustration of awesome construction, 
here's a uh, little piece of glued particle board, particle board backrest. Um, it's another piece of what I can only assume is soft wood uh, attached to it, and this makeshift bracket, which as you can see is a nice little 90 degree bracket stuffed into a more than 90 degree hole. Um, I, I would assume for three grand they'd you know at least make some make some purchase some uh, hardware that that would fit their their design. But at least they put this one in because as you can see the other one. On the other side, it kind of omitted that whole thing. So what you have is backrest and, as you can see, a whole lot of play. Oh, actually, it looks like this piece is coming right out. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So the glue is let go, and as you can see, it's just a bunch of staples holding, you know, the backrest together. Not, not a major piece. It's only, you know, the thing that you and your family keep bumping up against uh, every night when you sit down to watch TV. So there's more questionable longevity, but like I said, at least, you know, at least they foresaw that being an issue and they put in a incorrect bracket there. Uh, what else I want to show you here, really? The, um, the wood, as you can see, is, is just kind of tacked together, stapled. A couple of screws if you're lucky. Oh, yeah, speaking of staples... So I've got this misaligned run of about two feet of staples that didn't hold. And as you can see, actually maybe you can't see. No, you can see. As you can see at the top where they were stapling into the particle board, they also were missing. Uh, so there's there's a staple that's missed. There's another one. There's a whole bunch of staples that came close, also close to catching the edge. In fact, you can see some of them, it kind of bubbles out where the staple managed to just nick underneath the skin. There's a little bump here, and you can feel the two two prongs of the staple. But, you know, they missed, and they missed back there as well. You could see, uh, you see more staples that don't quite <clears throat> contact where they're supposed to. And that carries on for pretty much the length of the sofa, as you can see here further towards the uh, the other end there's more staples that haven't hit so yeah basically all this quality framing that they they talk about in the showroom uh, appears to be just softwood parkle and staples uh, parkle board staples and glue holding it together which makes me question the you know thousands of dollars of premium that we paid for this one over competitive models which uh, I'm sure are built <laughs> just as poorly. Uh, let's see, anything to show here? Yeah, just more glued pieces and whatever. So there you have it. This is the making of a uh, Natutsi sofa. And <laughs> staples and particle board and glue is what I spent three grand on.